have here some uh, right, brightness and a, just a tab over rightness. I don't mind a tab over rightness because I get a balance of flavors. So we have the direct sun exposure. temperature or not if not cool colder temperature after crushing so my so the grapes have a chance to basically get more flavors the cool so cool uh, uh, last uh, about two to three days so this uh, is dry ice it's uh, does two things. First, it cools down, and as the uh, grapes warm to dissolve the uh, pellets of dry ice, it releases carbonation or carbon dioxide, and it keeps the oxygen uh, layer above the skins uh, at zero. So basically, we have a, a blanket of carbon dioxide to protect uh, the skins from um, oxygen. Uh, now I need to disperse it or at least the, uh, just uh, mix it around so I get different areas of the bin uh, where they might have some uh, hot pockets and uh, release those hot pockets and hopefully cool those areas. Sanitize it using uh, using ozone.
takes longer, but the flavors are worth it. And I use this instrument only to uh, help my yeast. I basically say that it's just right for winemaking, or it's, it's just right for port making, or it's just right for uh, a specific style or a different, you know, a style that the winemaker may have in mind. It measures 27 bricks. 27 bricks is the, the upper limit uh, for my yeast. When you make a decision to harvest the fruit, uh, I choose not to use this instrument because it, it's misleading my flavor profiles. I'd rather just go to the vine and taste the berries and, and feel for uh, the, sh the sweetness, feel for uh, flavors, feel for tannins and acids, and then uh, a palate flavor finish. If I can get a palate flavor finish, I know the, wine, the, the grapes are ready to harvest. It's tart, tannic, and uh, very smooth with a lot of depth. So I call depth and flavors. Thank you.